All right. Welcome to the outreach committee meeting for July. Uh, I'm Brandon, the chair, and um, the meeting is called to order at, let's round it to 7.02. And um, next order of business is the roll call. Brandon, of course, is here. Uh, Karen, not here just yet. Sherry Kessel. I'm here. Oh, there's <laughs> another Sherry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. Yay. <laughs> uh, Terry Austin. I'm here. Julie's excuse. She is on a flight home. Ira Gold. Here. All right. Four out of six. We have a quorum. That's settled. We'll go on to agenda item three. Um, comments by the committee chair. Uh, movie night recap. Well, first, let me say one thing. I did upload the agenda to the website. I don't know what happened to it. The website is acting a little funny. It was sending emails that were coming in um, for the board also to a former president that has not been a president for some time, uh, Miss Kessel, Denise. Uh, don't know why, but apparently it was. So I'm going to talk to Robert tomorrow and find out what's going on. I did upload the outreach agenda. I did upload it to the early notification system, which is digital. And I believe Barry did post it at uh, Radford, which is physical. So we did meet the requirements to the Brown Act. Usually the ENS is um, filler. It, it, it's, it's gravy. Usually um, Brown is physical posting and a digital posting on our website. The ENS counts as the digital. Again, I'm going to have to talk to Robert about that. I don't miss um, posting agendas. The one time I did screw up on the Zoom code, so that was on me. Uh, movie night recap. Um, let me see. Oh, attendees. There's still attendees here. Let me get Randy in. And <laughs> no puppets here today. Okay. Uh, movie night recap. We had a movie night this past... Um, God, when was it? It was a little while ago. It was Raiders of the Lost Ark. It went extremely well, except for the early part of it, in which um, the projection system didn't quite work. But once it got working, it turned out to be a great success. We had a wonderful time doing it. And Abigail is actually working with CD4 to put up um, a third movie night, possibly, in September. Uh, that would be something. Um, we don't know what film, but... It's going to be a lot bigger. We have more time, and she's her and George are really working um, well together, along with Adam from um, Rex and Parks. So I'm curious to see what Abby's going to do with it. It'll be more of a cultural affairs thing, but Outreach might jump in and help out a little bit on that. Um, the, SES, the SAAS website is up. I mentioned the problems before. Um, I did post the agenda to the website. It apparently is not there, but it is posted on ENS. And it is posted physically. I will talk to Robert tomorrow and find out what's going on with that. We've had a couple of hiccups on the website so far. Um, like I mentioned before, uh, people who were emailing through the website to us, to the board, it was actually copying a past president, several presidents ago actually, for some strange unknown reason. So there are some glitches in the system. And um, before it was difficult to put up an agenda, it didn't actually click you would have to do it a few times it's a little easier but when I was posting cultural affairs um, a little while back it had that same problem where it didn't take the first two or three times so we'll see about that uh, photo contest for the website if you go to the new website on the um, what were what will be the slider it has a photo contest thing I was talking to a couple actually emailing a couple of stakeholders about that they're interested in submitting um, Peter Cole, who's here today, is interested in submitting. I probably over the next two or three days, I wanted to do it today, but I got caught up with a lot of stuff. I'm going to change that, well, for the sake of, you know, to be nice, the generic image with um, some more custom images to really, um, you know, pop it a little bit and get people interested in it. Uh, if you know anybody who loves to be a photographer, who wants to go out there and take some pictures of our beautiful community, I guess it would be to board at studiocitync.org or maybe be Marino at studiocitync.org. Um, I can ask Scott later on what he thinks about that and we can make an official announcement probably during the regular board meeting on the 20th, perhaps. 
And um, outside of that, there's no more president's comments. So we will go to public comments on non-agenda items relevant to our committee. Um, please don't talk about little green men on Mars. That is not outreach, not yet at least, but um, sometime in the future perhaps. So what we'll do, we'll go to public comments and we will begin with, you know what? I have to say this. I am actually honored that GoPuppet is actually joining us on the outreach committee meeting. I feel like I've taken that step to being a legit officer. So, so be it. He was the first in line. Goat Puppet, go right ahead. And what happened to my video <laughs> privileges? Why? I, I told you Scott's going to sell you out. That's right. No, no, no. I'll take it. I'm the one controlling this meeting right now. That's on me. Yes, but I used to be able to show my face <laughs> with my pretty horns. Now look at me. I've been reduced to a nobody. <laughs> so... That needs to change. Who put you in power? <laughs> Goat puppet. Who got the presidency? Goat puppet. That's right. And who's going to get Lisa Karaji and thrown off of her commission? <laughs> uh, Mayor Bass. Yes, correct on all counts. The revolution is continuing. Yes. We don't want movies in the park. But did you know your good buddy, CD4, Shut down Griffith Park. No, you can't drive to work anymore, Brandon and Scott. Your buddy shut it down. She wants to permanently shut it down. So nobody can cut through Griffith Park ever again and get to work on time. Did you see that? And you support her. Really? Is that what you want? To get all the... The road shut down so Goat Puppet can't get to work. Point of order, Goat Puppet. Let's keep it relevant to the Outreach Committee. That's not in That's our jurisdiction. Doing. How can we outreach when we can't access roads? That's transportation, That's Goat Puppet. Again, a point of no, order. Keep it, relevant to, keep it relevant to our committee. That's transportation. <laughs> well, that's the whole point. Now, before... When you wanted my support for the overthrow of the prior dictator, you weren't too okay. concerned, were you? Yes. Go puppet, I'm gonna give you one more go puppet, I'm gonna give you one more warning. Go puppet, I'm gonna give you one more warning. One more warning. Point of order, point of order. Keep it relevant to outreach. This is the final warning. City council does this, I'm allowed to do it too. If the city council can do it, whatever his name is, I can do it. So keep going. Go ahead. Not, not not him, her. It's the fat one with the wig. No, no, no. Yeah. The city attorney guy. Whatever his name is. Oh, oh you mean defendant Fobble. Yes, that's right. That's what we're going to call him. Okay. Yes, and as you know, oh. movies in the park will not solve the problem. What will solve the problem is giving out gift cards and outreaching with money in people's hands. Okay. Gift cards for everybody, starting with Goat Puppet and his $100 gas card. You promised if we got rid of El Presidente. <laughs> That's right. And we're waiting for the gift card. Yes. Okay. So where can I pick up my $100 Studio City gift card? <laughs> I want it now. Okay. Will that be all? Yes. That's right. Okay. And anything else? Uh, do you have a shout out for the prior president? Yes. Keep your business cards handy. <laughs> okay. And next up will be, let me lower his hand. We will go to Richard Niederberg. Let me unmute. You're unmuted. Okay. Go right ahead. After discussions with both Karen and with Abby, it looks like I'll be able to put together a um, Dia de los Muertos event, very beginning of November, showing the movie Coco at the library. As I've done, we've done numerous times before. I assume they still have the DVD. I know they have the equipment in place. And so I, and as far as outreach is concerned, it might be a, a, a good thing to publicize 
a culturally significant event because a lot of people don't recognize what it denotes Smith Church is all about just because it's on All Saints Day or All Souls Day close to Halloween doesn't mean they know what it's about. So that that's what the intention is. I'm hoping that the out that the outreach committee can help um, do what has to be done. This is not require a line item money thing. Uh, traditionally, the friends of the library have um, provided whatever goodies they want to do, do what they want to provide. So again, beginning of uh, November, Dido Dido Mitros showing of Coco by Pixar. Thank you. All right. Uh, next up, we'll go to Peter Cole. Peter, go right ahead. The floor is yours. Hello there. A um, couple things. How much time do I have? Oh, I'll give you two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. I, I hate the pressure. Uh, <laughs> first thing, when I, when, when I tried to log on, I, uh, I log on on my phone and I went to your brand new lovely website and under the calendar link, the link doesn't work for uh, to open up the uh, um, uh, the Zoom. Um, so I did get an email, so I had to go back to there. E nine five eight seven eight seven eight five five three. When I click, it's not a URL that I can click on on my phone for some reason. That's the 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 uh, Zoom link. I don't know why. That's Maybe it's just a phone thing. Um, also, the, fo the Photoshop, uh, Photoshop, the photo contest. If uh, I'm happy to submit some things, but uh, because this is a government entity, I, I'd like to use those photos elsewhere. I don't want to find out that uh, they're owned by the uh, neighborhood council or our city attorney after I submit them. There's no gobbledygook there, is there? That's something I'm going to go over with Scott. No problem. About. Um, no, I don't know, but. Um... What we're going to do with that photo contest is um, I'm going to put out um, something on social media regarding those rules. I, I think Richard Niederberg is correct. It's still your, we're just using it for the website. We're not going to own it. And I think we could put something down saying they're still your photos. We, we, we're not going to own them if we use them. Um, I, I'm sure it'll be just fine. But we will put out something that will um, define that So um, for, as a peace of mind on your behalf that if you give us those photos <laughs> suddenly. Now, if the photos are concurrently being used um, for a corporation or from some kind of, some kind of commercial thing, commercial enterprise, nothing, we nothing might not commercial. be able to use them. Nothing commercial. I just want okay, to make so sure we're not that- be a, uh, We're not gonna be attached to any other entity. We'll just lock the thing on Yeah. Okay. I, I, right, I, we'll, we'll, work, we'll work that out. Again, I'll okay. talk to Scott about that. Um, Everything goes through him, and he has a final say on it. So um. okay, a um, couple more, couple more items. Um, mm -hmm. so I wanted to uh, commend you on your timely YouTube uploads. It's like no sooner is the the meeting done, and boom, I have access to all this uh, lovely material. You know, I love to take the credit, but that's Scott's credit. He's the one who's doing that. Atta boy, Scott. And then uh, lastly, um, this is an outreach thing that. Um, it may not be apparent to most, but if you have a, um, a board member that rather than when, when ask a question by another board member, rather than answering the question decides to disparage stakeholders, that reduces. Um, that's, uh, the, Peter, uh, well, all due respect, that's not an outreach thing. That is an outreach thing because if, if I go to a meeting and I show up at a meeting and someone disparages me, why would I want to come back? So getting okay. the board members up to speed that they uh, mind their P's and Q's to the public would be a good thing. Well, that's, uh, Land that, um, use is who I'm talking about in case you didn't know. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Peter. Okay, next up would be Randall. Um, Rand Randall, using my full name, I appreciate that. Uh, well, let, let, let's be um, formal here. Randall Freed, you have the floor. Uh, fair enough. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, uh, Brandon, fellow committee members, uh, President of uh stakeholders. Um, one, just if you're talking to Robert Adams for Web Corner uh, tomorrow, I had the same issue actually trying to log in from my phone. I had to manually answer it. I don't know if it's a glitch in the website. In addition to that, um, I had already messaged Scott. Um, a number of the committee pages need, need updating. Yeah. Um, uh, apparently it's an inherited mess per Scott, but really he, he's just, he's president. So that 
they'll want to update the committee pages um, where it still says that I'm president uh, on budget, for example, still shows Lana as budget chair. She stepped down. Um, homelessness still shows Luis Oliart. Um, obviously, yeah. he has stepped down, um, etc. cetera. So Kamala Harris, apparently, according to Scott, is also there. So we'll want to... Um, uh, uh, we want to address that. And then the second thing in terms of outreach for the last stakeholder comment, um, maybe he would be interested in, because obviously the public is in privy, but we as a board did receive an email from um, the Department of Neighborhood Empowerment uh, to all board members reminding us of our obligation to a code of conduct. Uh, and as he put it, our P's and Q's of um, how we how we communicate with each other and more importantly or just as importantly to stakeholders uh and then lastly in terms of outreach i think that even if you don't necessarily agree with what a stakeholder is saying you still need to give that stakeholder the opportunity uh, uh to have their time on kind of uninterrupted and allow them to uh, speak that's my 10 cents you'll do what you, what you with what you will with that and thank you very much okay Thank you very much. Um, any other members of the public who have yet to speak? Then I, the public end of um, the public comments is closed. And we will go to agenda item five, public. Oh, Terry, you, well, you're, a, you're a committee. Do you want to speak? I, I had my hand up, but it's, it's too. Okay, well, this, this, that was, this is this public comments, but you're a committee member. Did you want to say something? I, not on the next item. I just wanted to ask something about what Randy just said about. Certainly. Okay. Certainly. Um, when I just wondered if anybody knows um, the admonishment or the uh, the directive about minding P's and Q's, um, given that it's not kindergarten. And it's actually a branch of the government DNCs. I'm just wondering: is there a three strikes law? Is there a um, is there a process that if somebody repeatedly does the same thing? I mean, how many times does someone get their hands their knuckles wrapped before they're? I mean, is there something written somewhere about what the protocol is for um, that kind of behavior? Well, the the board has uh, censure rules in effect. It's in our bylaws and operating procedures. Uh, that would probably for a, be for egregious acts, not necessarily opening your mouth and saying something wrong, but uh, multiple violations. I think Scott can speak um, more affluently about this, as as can as can Randy. But um, I think censure is really for more egregious acts, like if you really, like if you show up just completely drunk off your rocker and you start screaming expletives, that would be a censurable uh, event, I think. But if you just happen to open your mouth once or twice and you say some unfortunate things, um, it would probably be um, a tongue lashing via the president, uh, maybe um, a stern warning uh, if you do it again. Uh, there's, there's really, see, this, this is, I know this is not exactly outreach, <laughs> I, my apologies, but the code of conduct that the Department of Neighborhood Empowerment is trying to um, push on us uh, doesn't have progressive discipline. That's one of the main problems I have with it. Progressive discipline does not have it. Um, and it's really at the discretion of the general manager whether you stay or go. And I'm an elected official, and she's appointed. So it's really up to the president of the individual neighborhood councils to handle the matter. And if it gets out of hand, then it's up to the board to censure that board member. So, um, and then if it gets worse, the board can actually remove the board member. But that's only for extreme cases. So hopefully that answers your because question. Because I, I was thinking what Peter said about, uh, you know, the whole point of neighborhood councils is to get engagement. And our, yes. our job as this committee is to get people to come. And if people repeatedly see <coughs> a behavior that alienates them, I just mm -hmm. wondered, my, and I, you've answered my question, but I wondered if 50 people write in on an email, if 100 people write in, I mean, was there some sort of bar in that case? Yes. What I would do is I would I would email um, Scott Mandel on that. He could probably give you a more detailed account on that. So um, on that point, just what, what, one comment: we did re all the board members received an email from Dunn okay, regarding what Randy brought up, and I can assure you that there was nothing in there about P's and Q's. It was very specific about code of conduct and what happened. And since it was announced at the last board meeting, that email will likely be made public. So everybody can see what uh, Dunn actually said. 
And I can assure you P's and Q's are not in that. That's just a, I don't know what that is. So we can address that another time. But that was an unfair characterization of the email that we all got. And I'll leave it at that for now. Okay. With that being said, let's um, close public comments um, on non-agenda items relevant to the outreach committee. We will move on to five public officials. Uh, Sherry Herman is here today. And um, this is your time to speak, Sherry, if you'd like to. Um, let me um, ask to unmute. I believe you have unmute abilities. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Hi. <laughs> go right ahead. No, I'm, I'm here just to listen in uh, when you start talking about National Night Out. You okay. know, if I can give you any input or ideas or whatever. I know that uh, we'll know more, you know, Tuesday night at our meeting mm -hmm. of what's going on, but it might help you in where you're going from here. Fantastic. Okay. So that means there's no public officials. Why would there be an outreach meeting? So <laughs> we're going to um, agenda item six. Agenda item six is discussion and possible motion national night out. National night out is August 2nd. And um, we had a meeting previously with um, Sherry and her people, and there will be another one, as she mentioned, next Tuesday to give um, better details as to what's going on. Uh, Barry, I did um, register with the National Night Out um, National Organization. They should be sending a packet to our Radford office. If it hasn't already arrived, it'll be arriving very shortly. And, um, well, let's discuss it. Um, I asked... Sherry, because I know the Greater Tuluk, um, Greater Tuluk Lake Neighborhood Council decided to just um, give a cash donation. It was sizable. Um, more than likely, it was their final bit of their last budget, and they just sent it in early. Uh, perhaps it's something we should have done. If that's the case, then I apologize. That would be on me, since I'm the chair of the um, ad hoc committee. But um, that being said, we still have a lot um, in our office that we can use. Um, water, obviously, because there's no soda allowed on the um, anywhere near those soccer fields. Uh, snacks. Uh, Barry mentioned first aid kits that we have in the office. Uh, we have a couple of canopies. Uh, Lorraine actually mentioned, Ira, if you're listening, hate to rain on your parade, Duke, because I know you worked your tail off for those city guides, but apparently there's some brand new city guides coming out if they're not out already. Um, I would contact uh, Lorraine Diaz at CD2 and see if we can get a bunch of those by August 2nd. Um, that would be great to pass out. Cause I don't know if CD2 might have a um, table there passing them out already, but we need them anyways. Um, Julie mentioned spinning a spinning wheel, but she's en route right now home. She's in the air, so she can't comment on it. So um, let's start putting together an idea of what we can put together for National Night Out in terms of what we already have in our office, what's left over from our, the last movie night, and what we need. So I am going to um, open this up to board discussion first. Then I will go to public comments if there's a motion. But um, actually, you know what? Let's do this right. Let's go to public comment first. Then I'll go to board discussion here with the uh, public has to say first on the matter. And um, as always, Goat Puppet is always the first to raise his hand because he immediately raises his hand after he stops talking the last time. It's a nice trick. I like it. Goat Puppet, you have a couple of minutes. Go ahead. Can you unmute? Let me see. Oh, sorry. Goat Puppet. The floor is yours. Talking is permitted. Yes. There you go. But you forgot already your new junta, the Scott Brandon junta, took away my video privileges, uh, the list of attendee privileges. Yes. Uh, sharing. Yes. I used to have all of that on my committees when Scott was forming his revolutionary committee against. Point of order, good puppet. Point of order. Now. Point of order. We're talking about That's national right. right now. Keep it but relevant. No, please. you're lying. You're becoming like the cops, aren't you? <laughs> Using people. Using Branded Robert's Rules of you. Order and the, and the Brown Act. Brown Act. Keep right. it relevant to National Ride Out, please. If you have any ideas, that'd be great. 
It's always on topic. Look at the liar. <laughs> Just another Boris Johnson. That's yeah, he right. resigned. So How about that? What do we do? What do we do with cops on our night out? What are we going to do? Make buddies? Are we going to go up to them and say, hey, you know, I have a little <laughs> problem? And then the cop will whisper, well, I need a new boat in Lake Havasu. <laughs> Right? Is that what we have to do? Quid pro quo? Pay to play? That's why you're donating to it. It's just a way for the cops to select who gets services and who doesn't. That's right. And that has to stop because the cops get paid to do nothing. They didn't work on July 4th. Goat Puppet was on Ventura Boulevard watching fireworks go off. And he dialed one eight seven seven ask LAPD, and I'll give you a recording of it. Go oh, puppet! Do you have anything relevant to add about yes. National Night Out? Yes, it's about the cops. Isn't that the National Night Out? It's about yes. the community. Therefore, it's on topic, human. Okay. But you continue to interrupt because now you have the gavel, and with the gavel, the power goes to your head. And you forget about your supporters and become another tyrant. Yes. One meeting and already we have two tyrants on the line. Yeah, 10 <laughs> seconds, Go Puppet. Right. See, remember, Goat Puppet brought you to power and Goat Puppet can depose you just as easily. <laughs> and your two minutes are up. Next up will be, um, let me lower his hand. And uh, we'll go to um, Barry Johnson. Um, I was just going to nope. I was going to say, I remember Lorraine saying that they were providing canopies. So we don't need to go out of our way to bring anything we don't have to. Um, uh, they're providing they, tables. Uh, did she mention canopies as well? She did. But we check, should probably re-verify that. But if they are, that would be great. Um, and in terms of, like you said, we're fine with water. Um, we're fine with refreshments as long as we get the budget that um, we talked about at the ad hoc mid committee meeting. So we just need to decide, I think, on the prizes or giveaways we might be buying in addition to the pens and first aid kits we have. So that's all. Okay. Any other, let's see, um, Richard, go ahead. Yeah, for the last 16, 20 years, something like that, I've been done national night off on behalf of the city attorney's office. And as always, I like to request that, it, that, I get, that I get a canopy or something adjacent to the city neighborhood council one, basically, and I'll be giving away whatever kind of, uh, well, materials, for lack of a better word, rather than saying swag, that comes from the city attorney's office. I'll have, I'll have the banners, I'll have all that kind of stuff, and I just want to be next to the Studio City uh, booth. Do they give out pardons? What? Do they give out pardons? No, uh, the city attorney doesn't give away pardons because it's not empowered to do so. You gotta be a governor for that. Okay. In any case, I just want to say I want to have right next door, basically, and we'll have our own swag, and I'll probably personally bring liquids or something of that nature, just to um, to tell people about the advantages of mediating their case rather than taking it to court, and that's other things I do for the city attorney's office, and have for a couple of decades probably. Anyway, that's just where I want to be next to you. That's all. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Are there any other members of the public that are not committee members who have not yet spoken who have anything to add? National Light Out, this is what we're talking about. No? Then we'll go to board, uh, committee members. Sorry, committee members. We'll start with Terry Austin. Go ahead. Hey, thanks. Um, Barry touched on what I was going to ask about. Um, um, Karen took the time to research the different items that we might give out. So when the reason that I wondered when we decide on that is I've dealt with the um, Oriental Trading Company before 
which is an old, old name. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but, um, and sometimes they, they take a, a while to be delivered. So if I think that it'd be prudent to decide sooner than later on if there's any items you want to order uh, from them because uh, you might have a longer delivery time. Very often on the website, it says three to seven days or something. And then when you actually order it, you get an email saying, ah, actually two to four weeks. Yeah. And I will say, I want to put in a good word for the wind up toys. I have ordered those from Oriental Trading before, and there's, they're about yay big, but they all work. And there's quite a few in a bag, and they don't take a battery, and you don't have to charge them. And they're always, kids of all ages love them, and they're inexpensive, and they're a good bang for your buck. And I happen to love life. <laughs> but I've used them many times. I do school programs, and it's, it's always a cheap way to go, and, and I've never met a kid that didn't like them. And they can't fit them up their nose. So win-win. <laughs> Very well. Does anybody else have anything to add about National Night Out before we attempt to construct a motion regarding um, how much this is going to cost? Sherry, Kessel, go ahead. You're muted. Okay, I have a question. Mm -hmm. I remember several years ago there was a National Night Out and it was like individual like blocks, like neighborhoods had their own little things for National Night Out. Is this the only one or are other neighborhoods, little neighborhoods like Longwood Estates or you know this or that gonna have their own? Um, uh, that's my question. Uh, from what I understand, this is an experiment that um, CD2 is attempting to do along with North Hollywood P um, LAPD division. Um, where they're trying to put together as many neighborhood councils as possible and get them in one location for one big party. Um, oh. I like the idea of getting a bunch of neighborhood councils together because I like to meet the um, board members of NoHo or Toluca Lake, or I think there's three different North Hollywood neighborhood councils. Um, I like to meet them. Uh, I wish Valley Village was a part of this or, or whatever. Uh, it, it's nice to know your neighbors. It's nice to know other board members from other neighborhood councils because really we're just a couple of miles from each other. We're neighbors. And this is a great idea. And regardless of how big or how not big this event is, you know, when you look at things that have taken off and have become something um, sizable, they always started out rather small, but the people didn't give up. They kept going and going and going and it caught fire and it became a massive thing. And I see this as something that could actually become a template for other divisions to utilize and other um, CDs to utilize, getting neighborhood councils together into one spot and having one big party where everyone mingles, everyone gets to know each other, and there's a lot of cross-pollination, so to speak. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, the, uh, yeah. Sherry, did you, Sherry Herman, did you want to add something to that? Yeah, you know, Sherry, you're absolutely right about it originated, you know, with the neighbors, you know, you'd have like a potluck or something, and then you would, you know, all march around your neighborhood to take it back because it's like a uh, community against crime, you know, right. you let everybody. Right. Know. So I remember the first ones that I went to up in the north end, they always do that. And then uh, the senior lead officer was there and everybody had a flashlight after they, you know, had their little potluck party and everything and started walking through the neighborhood. And then it sort of developed, you know, kind of grew into Studio City had their own, Toluca Lake has their little one, Valley Village always does it at their park, um, NoHo uh, West, I'm not too sure where they had theirs, NoHo itself, like Mid Valley NoHo, I don't think that they've really had one in quite a few years, and NoHo Northeast uh, with Sharice um, is the new uh, neighborhood council president. I don't know what they're going to do. So as far as I know, I haven't heard back from anybody except for you, NoHo West, and uh, just today to confirm that Toluca Lake is going to be participating in it financially. Don't know what else they're going to be doing. Hopefully they will attend our meeting on Tuesday night. And, you know, we thought about it. It's like it's National Night Out for the whole, whole division of North Hollywood. And it is like uh, Brandon was saying, you know, to get to know each other. There may be issues that you guys all have. 
So you work, you unite together to work on an issue for the whole North Hollywood community. So it's, it's really a lot of team building as well. It also makes it a little bit easier on the department as far as being able to get specialized units to come out. You know, like if Valley Village is, correct, is requesting the, uh, the horses, well, you know, well, we're over here at Valley Village. We can't go over, you know, to where you guys are doing it. So it makes it a little easier. And I know that we did this with uh, last year with the uh, Christmas giveaway, the winter festival that we did at Whitsitt Park. And it was the first annual and it was so successful. I mean, the chief came, the deputy chiefs came and everything like that. And it went all the way up to the mayor's office. And now it is a city uh, national uh, annual event. So every year there's going to be this big party, you know, at Whitsitt Park. And obviously we'll be getting toy donations. So think about collecting toys for us to hand out to the kids. We had about 3000 people attending at that point. So it, it's an opportunity to make this, it's like a central location too within the North Hollywood division. And I know that a lot of people probably in studio see like, oh, I don't want to go over there. You know, that's that's a north of Ventura Boulevard, you know, that type of a, a thing. But hopefully they'll come. And when they see on social media how much fun it is, how many people turned out, then maybe next year they'll join in on it. So it's it's a beginning stepping stone. Hopefully we'll get a big turnout. It's hard to say. Uh, Tuesday night we'll be discussing and you know hoeing in on the time of when we're going to start it. Um, some people wanted it like you know six to eight. Some say five to to seven or five to eight. So we'll be working that out. As far as the flyers concerned, I know that Lorraine Diaz said that they would be doing it from the council office. I don't know if they will or not, or if we'll do it. But I would like it to say. Um, give everybody credit there. National Night Out put on by the North Hollywood CPAB, the Studio City Neighborhood Council. You know, everybody is listed as a as a sponsor or as a host putting it on. So um, everybody will get credit for it. And as far as the tables and the, the canopies, again, we will confirm that again on Tuesday night to make sure and how many you have. And Richard, I'll make sure that when we do set up the tables that you are right next to the Studio City Neighborhood Council. So that shouldn't be a problem. Um, also too, by then we should know uh, what specialized units are confirmed to attend. I know they've reached out to quite a few of them. I know that NOHA West has uh, also reached out to DWP for the free giveaway stuff. Uh, communications is supposed to be there. One of our CPAB members is a ham radio operator and he's bringing his group and they've got like a special station for the kids to actually work on ham, ham radios and stuff like that. So it should be, it should be fun. So I don't know if that helps a little. I mean, if people want to, somebody wants to bring in a face painter or somebody that can make balloon toys, you know, balloon toys to hand out to the kids. Um, and I don't know what the, what we're going to be doing with the money that we got from uh, the neighborhood count from Tuluca Lake, because I just talked to the sergeant today and he goes, I don't know what we're going to do with that. I said, well, you know, we'll see what the other councils are going to do. And if there's anything that's lacking, then we could utilize that to, you know, pay for something. If you want to get somebody in that's a good DJ, you know, that we can have music playing or a band or, you know, any of the stores here in the in our restaurants want to set up a table and, and give out little samples or whatever to promote their businesses, um, reach out to the schools if they want to do anything. Of course, they're not in school now, but, um, you know, that type of a thing to make it a big festival carnival type of an atmosphere, but also working in partnership with the police department. We're going to have our volunteers out there. So people may be interested in volunteering for the department and, and see all the different things that we do. So that's it. <laughs> Ira, go ahead. We need somebody to take a picture. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Richard. Ira, Ira has the floor. Thank you. Ira, so I'm, right I'm not a big tchotchke, tchotchke, a fan of tchotchkes. You know, tchotchkes are, are just little things, little giveaways. Um, I, I, I mean, everyone likes to get little things, but if we're gonna, if we're gonna order things to, to give away, I think we should, my suggestion would be to make them really relevant. For example, really inexpensive little toy police cars. I'm talking about the tiny ones, you know, for a however much there, you can get them in bulk for almost nothing. You know, things, things that 
that would really lend to uh, to the actual idea, the purpose of of the night out, which is to um, to promote police community partnership, right? So, or or even or even um, books. Like I know we gave away Clifford the Dog books over at one of our our movies. What about books like um, A Trip to the Police Station, right? I have no I have no knowledge of what's in that book. I just did a quick cursory, you know, kids book on police. You know, things things that that people will actually keep and 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 sheds a really good positive light um, on on the police, right? And, and and law enforcement that and and for adults, um, maybe a, a, a magnet that like a refrigerator magnet that usually takes about a week to get in. A refrigerator magnet from from the LAPD that that shows non-emergency numbers or uh, tips, tips and tricks, right? Like tips on, on how to stay safe or, or uh, just things from the LAPD that I think would be really valuable. I think that these types of things lend more to the, uh, the air of the event than maybe just like a little flashlight or a little keychain or something. Um, if, you, if we really wanted to, if we had the, the police okay and the participation, uh, I don't know how many officers patrol um, Studio City, but let's just say there are just a handful of them. Um, if they consent, maybe we just get a little bio or something like, hey, this is officer such and such, and they love to play volleyball on the weekends. You know, just something that just lends itself more to the event as opposed to just kind of little tchotchkes. Thank you. Well, I know with our CPAB table, we've got you know, pamphlets that we just got from downtown that we hand out, you know, how to keep your child safe and all that. Um, I'm also thinking about being able to get a hold of somebody where kids can register their bicycles, you know, and safety issues like that. Um, I know my daughter many, many years ago, they had fingerprinting done. So the parents would have their fingerprints. God forbid something happens. That's so you cool. Your fingerprints, you know, so, you know, what CPAB's trying to come up with some ideas like that. I don't know if we'll get them done this time, but maybe for next year. But if you think along those lines, it is the community police partnership, um, volunteering at the station, uh, the CPAB is there, um, our PALS board is there, and that's our, our, our 5013C, you know, for donations and to get more of the community involved, supporting the department, things that they need in our cadet program, our cadets will be there. So um, we're gonna have a, a pretty good turnout. I assume that all the, the senior leads will be there unless they have another one that they have to go to that's being held not there. They may have to stop by, but they eventually will be there. Um, I know that the captains will be there. Um, I'm almost positive that uh, Deputy Hamilton, Deputy Chief Hamilton will be coming by as well. So we'll get a big presence. All right, Terry Austin, go ahead. Terry, you had a question or you just didn't lower your hand last time? Working. Oh, there it is. Okay, there it wasn't going off. No, I didn't have a question about this. I forgot to lower my hand from before. So. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, so it sounds like, now one, one thing I'm concerned about is if we, the, the board meeting's on the 20th, if we could put together a um, budget and it's passed, we only have, we have less than two weeks to get it to the um, city clerk's office and have it um, um, authorized. I don't know how fast they would do it. I'm not sure. Um, in the, on the ad hoc meeting, um, Lorraine Diaz from CD2 said they're short staffed. Uh, I would have to speak to Kim about this and find out exactly what the timeline would be. I mean, let's say it's let's say it's 500 for everything. I don't know, but let's just say it is. Would we be able to get the city clerk to authorize that money in enough time? Because it, it would have to be well before August 2nd. It would have to be in July. So it would have to be fast-tracked. I asked Lorraine if she if CD2 can help with that. She didn't, she didn't necessarily give me a direct answer. So... That's one concern I have. If we go for toys, little um, books or something relevant to law enforcement or things like that, 
how quickly we'd be able to get that through the city attorney, uh, the city attorney's office, the city clerk's office, to um, get the money authorized to use. And we're on a new budget. Um, Toluca Lake, like I mentioned before, most likely the money they donated to CPAB was from their prior budget. They had some residual money. Let's give it to them. I don't know if it was, they considered it a, um, um, you know, what, what they considered it, but I'm sure it was from residual from their prior budget. So um, we will, you know what, let's go back because there's quite a few public hands up and we will do another round of public discussion. And again, Go Puppet's hand has been up for a while. Go Puppet, you have two minutes. Go ahead. Mr. Puppet, are you there? Talking is permitted. Mr. Puppet. I'll give you one more chance. And no. So we will go to Richard Niederberg. Richard, go ahead. Yeah, previously we got those reflector LED things that light up you put on your belt loop for kids going to Halloween you clip it on basically so they get seen when they're on the streets that's something we've done before we got a big box of them and they're very well received we have a big box of them or we did get a big box of them we got a big box of last time there may be some left I don't know but we have a lot of them and it worked very nicely because it's a it's a safety issue. So you walk on Halloween and they have a flashing light on their belt or whatever they put. Okay. We're going to go to Barry Johnson because I have a direct question for Barry Johnson. You may unmute. We have to go yeah. to the storage shed at Radford and find out exactly what the heck we have because last no, there meeting. there aren't we... any more. Okay. There last time I realized we had first aid kits and I never knew that. So... There's nope. nothing in the storage area. All, the first aid kits are in the office, and there are no more reflectors. And um, this food for thought, we have done things like this before, and all the little think, things you're talking about buying, including refreshments, have all been credit card purchases, and we've done those all in advance of an event um, before – the clerk approves any budget. As long as it's $500 or less, we can make all these purchases. She can approve it when she wants, but it's not going to, doesn't have to stop us for making the purchases. Okay. So $500 or less combined, we're good. Well, and that's what, what our budget is, right? We don't know yet. Motion hasn't happened yet. Um, I'm just trying to whittle it down to a reasonable number that um, Kim's not going to have an aneurysm when she sees. So um, yeah, I mean we've we've even done petty cash, so to speak, um, purchases for office supplies that have been like eight hundred dollars. You know, when you get into toner and stuff for the copy machine, and that you know it's the purchase always goes through. Okay. Okay. Um. We'll go to Terry Austin. Terry, go right ahead. Uh, my quick comment was that um, if you um, have anything to send any of the, like Rain or anybody, I think you put in the email at the top, um, urgent attention, police night out. And anything that mentions the police, usually they pay attention to, the, to it because they always want to support the police. So I would just say however you approach uh, Lorraine and it's good to hear that up to $500 doesn't have to go through her hands but I, I find that's the fastest way to get them to uh, respond to requests. Very well. Also let me add something really quick. Um, I have received a couple of text messages. I would ask not people not text message me during a meeting. It's a Brown Act violation as far as I'm concerned. Um, all communications must be um, open to the public and texting me is not open to the public. Uh, I appreciate the comments, I guess. I have not looked at them yet because I don't want to look at them. It might be a Brown Act violation. So um, just um, I will look at them afterwards and I'll email you back uh, after the meeting is completed. 
but I try to hold on, hold um, off on text messages until the meeting is complete. Thank you. Anybody else have anything to add before I try to put together a motion here? Nothing? Okay. So, hold on one second. Let me find my pages here. Come on, open up. Okay. So, let me... Um, Okay. Nobody can see that unless you have a magnifying glass. Let me get this up to a reasonable amount here. Okay, the board of the Studio City. Sorry, I don't have it uh, pre-done like Barry does. I should have. Nay, bore. Bore. Are we um, going to go up to $500? Any, any committee member can chime in while I'm typing this. Up to... Well, I was just going to say up to 250 for the refreshment and then whatever else you think. I, I think 500 sounds reasonable because if you start dicing it and you get too close to 249 you know, I mean... If you don't spend it, you don't, but. And things have gone up. <coughs> what else do we need between, between, besides refreshments and snacks? And, um, and you really don't even have to put refreshments because we already have the water. Okay. but you need to put snacks. And are we going to have miscellaneous items? Are we going to have enough time to order them? Anybody? We, we might, well, if, you know, if it happens right away. I mean, people mention several other items, and yet we don't know how many of each we have. So I would think it would be prudent to allow for, if we do need to buy something, have having that in the motion so you have the discretion to spend it. You can always not spend money if it turns out we have enough swag in various... <coughs> okay, Richard Niederberg, very quickly. Uh, the giveaways have to be less than $5, right? In value? You're muted, Richard. We had to send back items that were purchased by a, previ a previous member because it was too, too expensive and the city clerk was going nuts. What's so, the limit? So let's say, try to reduce, you can do a dollar each, great. Maybe, but you, you can't do, you know, you can't do five bucks each. The city clerk will go crazy. I would call it SCNC swag and not miscellaneous small giveaways. Okay. The, the clerk does not like the word miscellaneous. Impossible. Want to do like three dollars each? Would that would the clerk like that? Of a unit I'd value say, of less than three dollars each? I'd say one dollar because we're not gonna if we only have two hundred and fifty for swag, that would only get us two hundred and fifty items. And if we're gonna buy three different things, that doesn't get you very much of each thing. Okay. I agree with the never using the word miscellaneous and anything to do with the budget, but I think <laughs> approximately uh one dollar, because if it's one dollar and two cents, then you don't want to, you know. I'd say approximately yeah. $2. But nothing makes steam come out of the ears of a bookkeeper like the word. Approximately is good. How's that? 
That's Board of the City of State Neighborhood Council approves up to the amount of $500, which includes snacks and possible SCNC swag of a unit value of less than approximately $1 each for the purpose of the National Night Out event on August 2nd, 2020. I have a suggestion. Yes, Ira, go ahead. I would swap out swag and replace it with giveaways. Giveaways are just more, it's more specific and, and more uh, professional. Did somebody mention, now did somebody mention the city clerk does not like the word giveaway or not uh, miscellaneous? How about swag giveaway? What, okay, swag is just a slang. It's not a professional term, it's just slang. I believe it's in the lexicon. It's using a lot of, a lot of, you know. It's We're using, not going to get into a dictionary discussion here. It's used in the newspaper. That's usually the standard. Um, no, the also, newspaper says a lot of things these days. Um, let's go SCNC um, handouts. Would that be good? Handouts. Fine. Is that a is that a term everyone can agree on? I'm trying to be diplomatic here. Let's do handouts. I, I still disagree, but I'll, I'll. No, no, no. Let me hear what you have to say, Ira. I'll, I mean, I'll yield my opinion. It's not. It's not really a make or break. I just. I think if you're going to write a professional motion. Yes. I think we should use professional terminology and specific terminology. What I love. What term would word. you like? What term would I, you like to use? I love the word swag, but I think giveaways is exactly. It's, it's the perfect description of exactly what we're trying to provide people. Okay. But besides that, I yield my opinion. Uh, that I don't want. Any, any word, really, I don't think is going to make that much of a difference, but that's my, my opinion. I want all opinions. And it's, as long as we don't have fine. a gift of public funds. Right. Um, I, I, the, the, in parentheses, of a unit value of less than approximately $1 each doesn't make sense to me. I think it should say of a unit value approximately less than $1 each. Okay. How's that? 2022 is better than... Uh, well, how about a unit value of approximately $1 each, whether it's a little more or a little less? How's that? Yeah. Yes. August 2, 2022. Oh, you're right. No one ever accused me of being a copywriter. I'd be fired the first day. Okay, the Board of the Studio City Neighborhood Council approves up to the amount of $500, which includes snacks and possible SCNC giveaways, in parentheses, of a unit value of approximately $1 each, for, in parentheses, for the purpose of the National Night Out event on August 2nd, 2022. Any other comments? I have a comment. Yes, go ahead. Just, just so you know, swag is in the Miriam Dictionary. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Just <laughs> it's quite all right. I, I I I love that. It's fantastic. Okay. I think it should just say approved up to five hundred dollars. You don't need the amount of. Okay, up to five hundred dollars. The Board of the Studio C Neighborhood Council, because some people are on the phone right now. The Board of the Studio C Neighborhood Council approves up to $500, which includes snacks and possible SCNC giveaways, parentheses, of a unit value of approximately $1 each, and parentheses, for the purpose of the National Night Out event on August 2nd, 2022. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing my screen, and we go to public comments first. If anybody has a public comment on this motion, public comment first, then committee comments, you'll have two minutes. Anybody? Richard Niederberg, go ahead. I'm just wondering, should we somehow mention it's in a public park and we're not doing it in a private event? Um, well, the National Night Out, I think they, well... You're it, muted. No, in the city clerk's office. I fight that every year. Of the publicly held National Night Out event? Or you could put CD2 National Night Out event. Well, CD2 is not running it, is it? Are they? Are they, are they helming it, uh, Sherry Herman? 
Is CD, um, CD2 um, helming it? Are they are they the front runners on this, or are you? Basically, it's it's put on by the community, for the community, and the police are just in partnership, and because it's in uh, Councilman Kukorian's area, they're involved too. So if you want to say something like National Night Out to be held at Witsit Park in North Hollywood. All right, yeah. I know it's a public event. A community event or? I think the clerk knows that National Night Out is a public event. I like to keep it simple because I think the Witsit Park might throw them. Okay. I think that they'll say, what's Witsit Park? And um, if they do have a question, I think, um, I don't know how Kim um, sends these in. I don't know if there's um, a motion and then a brief description of the motion. Um, I'll have to ask her, but I, I don't see why we can't, because the motion's one thing, but if we add a little description, like it's gonna be a publicly held event at Witsit Park, um, CD2 is involved. I, I don't know if she does that. I've never seen one of her, um, um, again, this is something that can be amended at the board meeting, actually. Uh, Kim will chime in, and we can always add it at the board meeting. So we do actually have a public um, comment. Um, Lionel Maris, Maris, my mistake if I mispronounced your last name. Um, you have the floor. You have two minutes. Oh, Go ahead. Thank you very much. Um, Did I, I mispronounce you... your last name? Oh, I, I, that's either way, modest or Maris. Okay. I don't know a correct pronunciation. So um, I was wondering, quick question, where can I find the agenda? I was scrolling around your website and I yeah. couldn't find it. It Apologize. was um, it was posted on the website um, when I sent it out and there was a glitch in the website. There, It's a brand new website, just went up right before the 4th of July and there's still some bugs in it. It was posted on ENS and it was posted at Radford Studio Center. But it was posted the same day I sent it out, and for whatever reason, it unposted. Usually I don't check, usually it holds, but we've been having a few glitches with that website. But it was at the early, in the early notification system, city's early notification system, and at Radford. So my apologies for that. But it was both publicly, physically, and digitally um, processed for the public. Anything else to add on on National Night Out? Why no? No? Okay. Was that the only question? I guess it was. So, um, any other board comments on this? I'm not board comments, committee comments on this. Any committee comments on this motion? Everyone's okay with this motion? <laughs> I, there you are. Goat Puppet, I asked for your um, comments, but you weren't around. Do you want to say something? I gave you an opportunity. To... No, guess not. All to do is you want to say something. <laughs> yes, I like it. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Good Puppet. Didn't know where you were. Usually you're, you're quick to the trigger on that, but you weren't at your computer at the time, apparently. Um, so I guess with um, public and board discussions closed... Oh, I'm sorry. Scott's still listening. My apologies, Scott. Committee discussions closed. Maybe it's the webinar thing. I don't know what's going on. I know Scott's laughing. Make no make make nothing of it. It was just a faux pas. It wasn't a Freudian slip. Um, we will go to a vote on this. I'm going to read the motion one more time for the committee. The board of the Studio City Neighborhood Council approves up to $500 which includes snacks and possible SCNC giveaways in parentheses of a unit value of approximately $1 each for the purpose of the National Night Out event on August 2nd, 2022. Do I have a second? I'll second. Okay. Actually, I should have seconded before. So by, do oh, Scott's, yes, yeah, Scott can second. So me screwing up on that 
public and um, committee comments are back open because I didn't get a second on the motion. <laughs> so guess what? Goat Puppet is back online. Goat Puppet, you have two minutes. Go ahead. Yes. You gotta give me, you gotta give me some slack on this. I trusted you to see if you could do it. No. And I knew all along the mistake that was being made. And you failed the test. <laughs> uh, did you do that or, or were you just out there talking to the neighbor? No. Ow! All right, I admit it. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yes. So we needed a second on the motion. The motion to go and suck up to the police department and beg them for services. Because you don't want to be like Goat Puppet calling 1-877-ASK-LAPD and put on hold for 35 minutes. No! You want to have a cell phone number to the slow. What the hell's that? The senior lead officer. Yes. Because if you know the slow, then you're inside the system and you can get good services. However, it appears that one of these slows filed a legal claim against the city today. So we're going to find out what happens when these slows get pregnant. And go, puppet, go, go puppet, keep it relevant to National well, Night Out, please. <laughs> yeah, so, so you heard about the woman police officer allegedly go being puppet. threatened. Go yeah, puppet, keep it relevant to the motion. Yeah, you know the go puppet, right. you know the rules. You know the rules better than anybody. Come on. Keep it relevant to the motion, please. Would you like me to read the motion to you again? I thought they cleaned the department up. No. Go puppet, this is your final warning. Keep it relevant yeah, to the motion. Right. So what we want is we want a special tent in honor of the LAPD, an NWA tent. So that everybody can see that Studio City is putting its hook down. No more corruption at the LAPD. <laughs> you have about I 10 more that. seconds. That's right, yes. Finally, an NWA tent where it belongs, a national night out. <laughs> okay. Does anybody, else have, does anybody else have any comments on this from the public? Okay. We'll go to the committee. Okay, that was improperly this time. It was only about three minutes between me needing a second and me actually asking for the second, so it wasn't horrible. That being said, we have the motion, we have the second, we have the public comments and committee comments, so we will go to a vote. So we will go to a vote and we will go to, um, let's go here, let's go to Sherry Kessel. Sherry? Yes? Terry Austin? Yes. Ira Gold? Yes. Brandon Marino? Yes. And Julia's absent? And Karen is absent. Motion passes? Yes. Oh, Scott. Um, are you allowed to vote or yes. only six tiebreakers? Okay, Scott's yes. So it passes. Very well. Thank you very much on that. We will now go. Let's see. Before my closing comments, let's go to approval of the June meeting minutes, which I also skipped. That was agenda item two. You see what happens when you don't print out the agenda and you're writing it all down? You skip things. So, uh, this is only for committee members. It is not open for public discussion. Um, I uh, sent out the uh, meeting minutes from last month on the 2nd of July. Um, if I have no objections, it'll be approved without objection. Does anybody have an objection from the committee? No? Approved without objection? Very well. Closing comments by the committee chair. Um, interesting meeting. Wasn't the cleanest meeting in the world, but, um, you know, maybe I should wear a suit and tie next time. Maybe that'll help. Um, we got something going up to $500. I'm hoping that Kim can work her magic 
If not, like you guys said, it'll be a credit card purchase and the city clerk can um, take their sweet time at um, handling this, but it looks good. Um, there's going to be a meeting. Um, um, Sherry Herman, is she still here with us? She is. Um, all, I'm going to invite all um, committee members to that meeting if they can attend. Uh, would you like to um, address it and um, let them know what is in store for the July 12th meeting? Um, basically, you know, it's just to touch bases with everybody that is going to participate, you know, what they've got planned. Um, hopefully we'll have a, more of a confirmation of what LAPD units will be there. You know, any final details and uh, setting up the time, definite time for the, uh, the event to take place, the hours, and just, you know, sort of like touch bases, one final meeting before we get, because uh, I don't think that we'll need another meeting because it's going to be like three weeks away. Yeah. You know, I know that we're having a station open house on uh, Sunday, July 24th. So we've been working on that and, and it makes it difficult because working with our community relations office, they've got several things happening and they kind of work on one thing at another and they work at, at uh, fast speed and the communication isn't always as great. And, you know, I've been trying to get on them and going, well, wait, that's way, that's in August. We can't think about that now. We've got this coming up in July or, or whatever. So um, it's been a little rough and it's the first time we're doing it. So hopefully it'll work out. And if you have any questions between now and then, that would be a good time to ask, you know, to confirm stuff with uh, Lorraine Diaz and what, what's coming from Kikorian's office and, you know, get a game plan going so everybody knows what everybody else is doing. Very well. Thank you. Uh -huh. um, there's no other comments from me regarding this, so um, we'll go to agenda item eight, um, adjourning the meeting. I motion that we adjourn the meeting. Do I have a second? Terry <laughs> Austin seconds. So we will adjourn the meeting at about 8.14 p.m. Thank you very much. Um, we have a special board meeting on July 11th. Um, and then the regular board meeting, which this motion will be presented, will be on July 20th. So hopefully everybody can attend. Until that time, um, I'll send you everyone out um, an email regarding the July 12th um, National Night Out meeting that Sherry is putting together. And um, hopefully I'll see you guys then. You guys have a wonderful evening.